Hello, welcome to my channel. And in this episode, I'll show you how to use my template in creating culture. Because creating culture is a very time consuming. So I'm just gonna show the shortcut in creating this and understanding how it is done. So in here, you see that the name of our mod must match with the ID. The XML nodes contains the culture, XML, the settlements for testing, so that we'll see if this culture will, will work with the settlement or towns and the XML node notables. This contains all the notables and I made it into a folder so that we're we'll just gonna have to paste the XML here. So let's get started. Let's suppose that you want to create three new cultures. One, two, so three in total. This one contains all the notable of one culture you want. And this is a template so you can easily change it. I'll show you later. Let's rename it. Two, and the one is the other one is three so let's say in here in your culture I also created a template you'll see here that the NPC has this name which means this will be changed when I press this control H which is replace for example I wanted to make something like empire based culture so let's just call this empire sample and in here let's just make this like this See here that if I press replace all, everything here will be the one I want to change or the ID will match. But this is unnecessary. You can do a culture which is, let me show you, it is in the sandbox score. You can see here that if I want a Batanian based culture, I'll just have to copy this and then paste it here. I'm just gonna change this into Spatanian sample also here make this false and I'm not gonna change this this will stay a Batania NPCs but I will change the basic proof into something stronger let's just make this an a basic troop, the noble troop of Batania. Now this culture doesn't have a notable, so this is where our template or these notables will come in. Let's create first for our Let's create first for our empire sample. So the word is the word to be replaced is this custom culture. So if I replace this all, everything or every notable here will have the culture of empire sample and in their ID this will be put. So save 
And for our Batanyan, it's just the same. I'm just gonna copy the ID. Batanya sample, copy. And then, just place it here. Replace all. And everything will be like this. You see here that the face template is an imperial. You can also change this if you like. So everything here will look like a Batanyan villager. Save and let's just create two for now. Because I think this is enough point for a sample. Now let's apply this to a settlement or a town. Let's just delete this one. So in settlement, let's just apply one. The empire here. Empire sample. Then let's go to our game. And you must activate this first. In our filter, let's take this Batania sample. Oh, I didn't create a town for it. So let's take this Imperial sample. I forgot to change the name. Let's go here. The Licaron. And let's try to recruit. See here that this is a Blanjan Surgeon. Just like in here. This is the default I made just to see the difference. And you'll see here that the Notables culture is the one it is here. So I forgot to change this into something. Like this. So let's see if I if I apply here the Batanya sample. Save. And then let's create a new game. So let's see here. Filter up Tanya sample. This will now have the culture we made. And see here that this is a highborn youth, and the appearance of the notables is a Batanyan, Batanyan villagers. So that concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't to see future videos.